Okay, I'm over here at Cinco Puntos in East LA. And if you've ever seen Blood In, Blood Out, you'll see this uh, little store restaurant in the beginning of Blood In, Blood Out. Why I'm here is for this cenotaph right here, dedicated to the Hispanic Americans who fought and died in World War II in Korea. And the uh, Congressional Medal of Honor winners also. They're gonna have a, uh, an event here, Memorial Day in three days. I guess they're gonna have an honor guard. But what I'm specifically here for is for a local kid in 19, 1944, he was 18 years old. And he, at the Battle of Saipan, his name was Guy Gabaldon. He was an 18 year old kid from East LA here. He single-handedly took 854 Japanese soldiers prisoner by simply persuading them to come out of their caves. And a month later, at the Battle of Tinian, in, on, in July 24, 1944, uh, he single-handedly took six, 646 Japanese soldiers prisoner. And that was 10 times the amount, altogether 1,500 soldiers he took prisoner compared to what Alvin C. York did in World War I by taking in 132 German prisoners. And uh, if you know anything about military history, Alvin C. York, they did a movie about him. I think it was 1939 with Gary Cooper. He was awarded all kinds of medals, the Congressional Medal of Honor. Well, Guy Gabaldon, he didn't even merit the, uh, the Congressional Medal of Honor. And there's a lot of groups still petitioning Congress award this young uh, man who was 18 doing something beyond above and beyond the call of duty and not even meriting the, the the Medal of Honor and there's still groups today like I said petitioning Congress to rectify that wrong and uh, let me tell you something about the butchers bill and the Battle of Saipan and by the way they called him the Pied Piper of Saipan and they also called him Gabby uh, there was f the Butcher's Bill at the Battle of Saipan, June 15, 1944, was 14,000 dead and wounded. And, and you gotta, you gotta take into account if, if uh, Gabby wouldn't have taken in the 854 prisoners because they were ordered to kill seven American Marines for every Japanese soldier killed. That's why the Butcher's Bill was so high in Saipan. And uh, you gotta think that if he wouldn't have brought all those men in as prisoners, just think how more bloody that, that battle would have been, what well, with dead and wounded. And then of course, on the Battle of Saipan, there was 2,000 dead and wounded. And he took in 646 Japanese soldiers. So, and there you go again. Yeah, I'm sure it would have been much higher, the, the, the losses, the blood and the carnage. And he got a silver cross for what he did and all the silver cross signifies is gallantry in action against an enemy of the US and in 1960 was upgraded to the Navy Cross and that's second to the Medal of Honor and uh, all that signifies is action by extraordinary heroism in combat not justifying the Medal of Honor so hopefully in uh, Congress, Congress has infinite wisdom. They're going to rectify this wrong, however, posthumous, posthumously. And they did a film of Guy Gabaldon in 1960 called Hell to Eternity. Jeffrey Hunter played uh, the role. And uh, it was a wonderful movie. It was with David Jensen. And uh, Okay, well, and uh, a couple of more things. Uh, it was verified by countless enlisted men from military intelligence on those islands. Colonel Walter Lair, uh, his commanding op officer at the time, Captain John Swab, and, and Major James High all verified that he brought in that many men prisoner. And so let's hope, let's hope that this, this uh, gross misjudgment on whosoever part should be rectified okay well he let me tell you about guy uh he was so poor here in east l.a his parents uh 
put them in a with a foster family who happened to be Japanese, the Nakano family, where he learned uh, rudimentary Japanese, and that's how he was able to uh, speak uh, and persuade those Japanese soldiers to give themselves off, up without losing face. And uh, he stayed with that family until he joined the Marines in World War II. And uh, they, they sadly, they put his foster family in a relocation camp at the time. So that's how he learned Japanese. And like I said, thereby saving countless lives and wounded on those two islands. Okay, well, thank you, Guy, and all the Hispanic Americans who fought in all of America's wars. Okay, God bless them, and we'll never forget them. Thank you for watching this video.